Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents a flip through. Yes, I told you I was going to do a flip through of this magazine that I got. Magazine being loose there because it's almost like a book. There's a lot in here. Just to let you know, I have got a bowl with a sponge here, a wet sponge so that I don't have to lick my fingers to turn the pages because everything gets dry. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be reaching up in here and, and tapping this thing to flip pages. Starting off with the cover, you see uh, it does say 70 plus crochet gifts in one, two, three. Now this is put out by Crochet or Crochet Exclamation Point Magazine. That's how I hear it in my head when I read it. Crochet! Um, yeah, <laughs> it's Crochet Magazine presents this. Um, Cost-friendly, time-saving projects to make with one, two, or three skeins. That is a good thing. The price on this, it says late winter 2021. Display until February 14th, 2022, so you still have some time to go out there and find it. I found this at Walmart, so if I found it at Walmart, you can probably find it just about anywhere. Uh, in the U.S., it's $9.99. Mm, no discounts either. Canada, $10.99. So, yeah, it's a little pricey, but I decided to get it because it looks like there's stuff in here that I can do. Yes, bonus. All right, let's start looking through here. you got the usual notes from the editor. We're going to skip that. I love looking at the table of contents because it's kind of a signal of things to come. Things are laid out nicely, easy to read. You have some that have pictures and some don't. There you go. Second page of the table of contents there. Sorry, I had to peek around to see if I was in frame. Um, so yeah, looks promising. A lot of scarves in here, but it starts off with Cozy Comfort, and it starts off with the Kristen cowl. And no, I'm not going to show you the patterns because that will get me, you know, slam dunked on out of here. But that is really pretty. It does say this one is an intermediate. Um, there are some beginners and some intermediates in here, so th there's a mixture of stuff. Measure six inches wide by 58 inches in circumference because, you know, it goes around like a cowl. And, uh, oh, I do want to show you this on the bottom corner. Let's see if I can get up there. That is sort of the detail on what you're making. That's kind of pretty. You got the center part, and then you have the, the lacy, frilly doohickeys there on the outside. Yes, doohickeys is a technical term. Thank you very much. Um, this is made with a number one super fine. So if you have any of that fancy schmancy yard line around, that's a one. This is what you can do with it. Also, some of the more lightweight stuff, if we come in any shawls like that, remember, um, <clears throat> Rose Likes Crochet does the thing for wings every year. This year, the list is out, and they are looking for lightweight shawls one of the months. I don't remember which month, but look it up, and she's got some pretty specific directions on that, nothing heavyweight. This is called the It's the Braid scarf. I think all the good names just ran out. But that is kind of cool. I love the colors they decided to use in that. This one is marked as an easy, and it looks like it's pretty easy, but uh, this is in Tunisian. What? Yes, this is done in Tunisian, and it's done in the, pretty, the Tunisian pearl stitch, the Tunisian simple stitch, it looks like it's probably doable. I would probably still need a tutorial because I'm really bad at stuff like that. But this is done in a number two fine weight yarn. This one is called the Cutout Cloche. It's a hat with holes, y'all. It's a hat with holes. Gotta have that fancy name. This cute open work hat with large pretty flowers will let you show off your beautiful hair underneath while still keeping your head warm. <laughs> Anyhow, it is really cute, especially on this model here. I mean, look at that. Yes, you have to be a model, I think. And hey, bonus, this is made out of number five bulky yarn. It's made, it says it's an easy, and stuff that's made out of a bulky, that goes super fast, especially with a hat, because it's just not a lot of yardage. This is pretty. I don't think it's anything I would wear, because it's just not me, but it's gorgeous. And that's what a lot of people don't understand, though. Why do you like to look at that stuff? You don't wear any of that stuff. I can still think something is absolutely gorgeous, even if I'm not going to wear it, right? That is lovely. This is an intermediate. It's done in a number four weight yarn. Uh, they're doing it in Premier Yarns, Deborah Norville Alpaca Dance Medium Worsted Weight Acrylic. Alpaca Dance? Is there an Alpaca Dance troupe I didn't know about? Because I want to see. Because alpacas are awesome. Anywho, that's what they use for that. Uh, bobble hat and wristlets. I am a sucker for wristlets. I love this. They're calling this an intermediate. 
I am so bad at bobbles. I end up gaining stitches all over the place. Um, this is also done in a number five bulky. So yay for not too much super fine stuff. All right, let's flip through here. Convertible cowl. It's a cowl with some buttons. It's pretty. It's an intermediate done in a six super bulky. Y'all, they're trying to give you stuff that does work up really, really quickly. <laughs> Gauge. Gauge is not important for this project. It's, it's that right there. I love it. Kayla Tunisian Keyhole Scarf. Tunisian, again. Y'all, we're all going to have to learn some Tunisian this year if we haven't already. That is really pretty. I like that, that keyhole scarf look. I think it's kind of cool. This is done in a number four worsted weight. That's nice. For myself, though, I can't stand stuff being around my neck. And I got a big old neck, you know. PCOS, thank you. Um, I would have to extend the length of that other bit quite a bit. But that's, that's why you make it yourself. You adjust. This is super cute. I don't think I'd ever use it. It doesn't get cold enough here. This is called the Double Up Muff. <laughs> and uh, this is done out of a four medium. Uh, what are they using for that? Plymouth Mushishi. Mushishi? Medium worsted weight wool slash silk yarn. Yeah, they're using some fancy stuff there. But that is sort of a look of what it looks like. And it's got a little string to hang it around your neck and stuff. That's kind of cool. If you live in a wintry kind of place. Cowl in the wool capelet. It's pretty, and it appears to have a hat. That's neat. Fun and funky half hats. Apparently that's a half hat. Can't they just call that an ear warmer? It's an ear warmer, y'all. But they say that these are intermediate. They have adult and child. The child is done in a bulky. The adult is done in a super fine. Does that make sense to you? Lucy slippers. I still need to attempt some slippers, okay? Those are kind of cute. That is done in a four medium, and it says it's an intermediate. Although their sizes, yeah, small, medium, and large don't cut it from my boat feet. Garters and buttons socks. Crocheted socks, y'all. Those are really cute. Oh, yeah, it's an intermediate, and it's done in a super fine. Yeah. Chunky speckled neck warmer. It's pretty. It's a nice cowl. It's done in a six super bulky, and it's called a beginner pat pattern. This is not even easy. This is a number one beginner. So basically, if you've never picked up a hook before and you can chain, you can probably do this. Wind warmer kerchief. It's a dicky. Okay, here's the picture on the model. It's a crocheted dickie. Nothing wrong with that. That's just what it is. It's a number four intermediate, and they're doing it with a three light yarn. A double warm hat, this says. It's a number three easy, using number four yarn. And this looks like the waistcoat stitch, and that frightens me. Because I love the way this stitch looks, but it is murder on my hands. So, yeah, I probably avoid that. Texting mittens. It's an easy. This presumes that we text with our thumbs. Won't your thumbs get cold, though? There's nothing to actually cover them up with. But that's cute. It's done out of number four weight yarn. It says it's easy. It can be done. Multi-textured cowl. Here is one picture of it. Here is another picture of it. And they also show it, let's see, oh yeah, I can do this. It's just the fact that it's intermediate and stuff up there. That's kind of cool. I like the yarn they've used. They're using a number one super fine and um, says it's an intermediate. Lacey Meadows shawl. This is really pretty. Yeah. That's super pretty. It's done with a number two yarn, which isn't so bad. And it says it's easy. Basically, if you can get it going with that size yarn, you can probably go ahead with that. This is a number one beginner. But it's done in a number one super fine. Cashmere silk merino yarn. 
Let me show you. Yeah. That is some expensive yarn. Mm. It's pretty, but it ain't happening. Simple shrug. I'll just show you these pictures here because you can actually see what the shrug looks like. That's cute. Um, and there's the big picture. That is an easy done out of our four worsted weight. The button down cloche. It's a beginner. And it's done out of a number five uh, bulky. I like that. Yes. I don't even know if I'd even care about the button. I just, I think that's a cute shape of a hat. The beaded slippers. Well, I imagine you could leave the beads off if you just didn't feel like it. My cat would attack the beads. So yeah, they probably have to be left off. But uh, those slippers are a number four intermediate and they're done with a worst weight. And then we have adverts, sunburst mittens. Intermediate, done with a number two, fine. Those are cute. With that funky sunburst thing on them. I mean, it's cute. They don't really tickle my fancy. I like this. This is a two first set. It's an easy, uh, done out of a number four medium. First, it is the Shells Slouchy Beanie and Ear Warmer. There's the ear warmer. I think that's really cute. And there's the slouchy beanie. I like both of those. That might be worth a look. A lot of these might be worth a look. I mean, come on. The raspberry cowl. This is beginner. Done out of a four medium worsted weight. Um, yeah. I wish that I could stand to have things right up against my big old fat neck. Because that's beautiful. It really is. And then you can see... There and there. She doesn't look real happy there. That's a fake smile. Definitely a fake smile. Icing on the top scarf. This is intermediate, done out of a four. Uh, medium weight yarn. A bunch of flowers, but it's not separate flowers. This is all done together. That's kind of cool. I could see folks I know doing that. Very boho look. Lobster claw hat. Four, intermediate, done out of a four, worsted weight yarn. And I guess they're calling it lobster claw. There is a close-up of that sort of crossover stitch that's on there. Kind of like a, like a claw. The claw! Um, and there's the hat. I'd be kind of afraid I'd have, it feels like I have something, you know, brain eater or something on my head. Viola's cap. This is a baby cap. It's an intermediate, done in a number one, super fine. Got no babies in my life, so that ain't happening. It's a cute hat, though. Here's another one for the kids, Snuggly Snowman set. It is a number four medium, uh, and it's done out of a, it says it's easy. Oh, those are cute, the little details there. Yeah, that is perfect for the little girl. Tun okay, wait a second. Tunisian ribbed necklace and earrings. Tunisian jewelry wow this says it's easy and it's done out of thread yeah and i skipped one this is the scarf necklace and they're calling it right there scarf necklace it's like a dicky that got too excited and big you know see scarf necklace and it's done out of a super fine and it's a number three easy but wow tunisian crocheted jewelry we got some things besides clothes in here. Textured tote. This is a bag number four intermediate done out of a four weight yarn. That's cool. A lot of texture. A little boho looking thing there. Go on. Move along. Okay. Laptop cozy. My laptop just stays sitting here. It doesn't go anywhere. Of course, I don't go anywhere either. Uh, this is done out of a number five bulky and a number four medium. And it's, a, it's an easy. That's what it says. There you go. Laptop cozy. Is your laptop cozy? Make sure you keep it cozy this winter. More adverse. The tasseled phone bag. If all you're carrying is your phone, girl, where do you put your stuff? I have to have a purse with me. <laughs> it's awful. This says it's beginner. This is one of those number one beginners. It's done out of a three lightweight yarn. So if you're just starting, yeah, get that project under your belt. Gentle Waves coin purse. That's cute. 
Uh, this is a number four intermediate and it's done out of a four weight yarn. Accessory pouches make all the little bags. This is done out of a zero lace weight yarn. You see, I have to make a face because I just can't see that stuff properly. I can't see it, I, it uh, just loses it. It's gorgeous, look at this. It says that they're easy. I'm sure they are for people who can see it and who don't have hands like this. Oh, oh, this is adorable. Uh, City Girl bag, it's an intermediate and is done out of a worsted weight yarn. I like that. I would change the handles though and make it crossbody because I just, I just can't with a handbag. I drop things too much. Ice drop necklace. It says it's intermediate and this is done on a super fine. Of course it is. Wow. That is fancy and gorgeous. See, there's a lot of stuff in here for one, two, or three skeins. Mini Victorian dresser box. This says it's easy, but it's done in a zero lace weight. That is super pretty. Super simple slippers because alliteration is important when you're naming something. That is done, it's a number, it's an easy, and it's done enough a five bulky weight. Ruffled fashion clips. This says it's for a beginner, and these are things to clip on your shoes. I don't wear shoes like this enough to do that. I'm mostly in my sneakers. Mostly in my Keds these days. Or in my house shoes. <laughs> Down into some baby stuff. Watercolors baby blanket. This says it is an, a confident beginner um, out of a four medium weight yarn. That's very pretty. And they give you all the little pictures on how to do stitches and stuff in here too. This isn't just, here's a pattern, go deal with it. Hoodie bear, oh my gosh. This is done out of a four weight yarn. It says it's easy. Look, that's adorable. You start with a naked bear and then you put clothes on it. Flower garden baby cardigan and bonnet. Again, with no babies in the life, but there is that. She looks like she enjoys it. Okay. Daisy Stitch Baby Afghan. All I can imagine is little fingers getting cut in that, caught in those pretty stitches. And maybe they'd be pulling that. You've never been around a baby before? Come on now. Leopard Chrysanthemum Pillow. This says it's easy. Uh, the back apparently is done out of just a number four red heart soft medium. This stuff here is done with a six super bulky red heart boutique sassy fabric super bulky super chunky weight polyester yarn. One hank in tan leopard. No. I no. You're just feeling for your stitches with that. That looks difficult. Oh, this is pretty. Blackberry pinwheel lap throw. That is very springtime. That's gorgeous. It's a confident beginner done in a number four weight yarn. Nifty thrifty baskets. Okay, look at those. Um, in the clothesline basket is a number. It's an easy and it's done on a four medium weight yarn. And the oblong basket is also an easy and it's also done in a four weight. All right. They're speaking to me with that. It's not in cotton, too. Fireside rug. I have yet to attempt a rug, and I don't know why. I really should. This is for a beginner. Number one beginner. It's done out of a four medium weight yarn. Dog not included, of course. Nor the fireplace, but, you know, there's the pupper. Woven ribbon pillow. This says it's an easy. Okay. Done out of a four medium weight yarn. And look what you got to do there. You got, you got to weave ribbon. That looks harder than weaving a pie crust, which I also can't do. Don't forget doorknob organizer. I like that. That's pretty cool and clever. Uh, three easy, and it's done out of nylon cord. Yeah. And I can see why they do that. It doesn't pull and stretch because it's nylon cord, but it looks like it's hard to work with. Ah, I have to give it a shot. Afternoon tea lap robe. 
It's a lap gan. Why are they calling it a lap robe? I don't understand. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm kind of lost at that. Or it's a throw, you know. The, sh the stitches are really pretty, though. Look at that. I like that yarn. It's done out of a four worsted. So, yeah. Three ring basket. This says intermediate. Oh, my. And this is made with some of that nylon thread as well. Let me show you that. I mean, I love the way it comes out. That's really pretty. Especially with all the fall decor in there. But... And here, here's a picture of it without the decor in it. It's pretty. I think I'd be fighting with those wooden rings. Ooh, Queen Street Baskets, a trio of small coordinating baskets, allows you to learn a few new stitch patterns while making something useful. They are perfectly sized for holding a variety of household, craft, or office items. It says it's intermediate, and they're using number four medium wool on these. So, yeah. Beverage accessories. And I'm going to read these off while you look at the pictures. There you go. There is a goblet footy, which is that. A glass cozy, which is that. And I'm guessing that there's also a mug rug, whether they call it that or not, which is under the mug. It doesn't say, but there's a mug rug. Dishcloth Duo. Yep, everybody needs a new dishcloth pattern or washcloth for that matter. You can use it for anything. And they're doing this out of number four medium weight yarn and it's an easy pattern. And this one looked really, really familiar. Look at this. Winter Solstice Hot Pad. This pattern is also in my Annie's uh, calendar and I'm attempting to do it and I frogged it twice now <laughs> because your girls don't like to sit and count, which you have to do for this. But I'm going to try it again and keep going with it. Yeah. And I wonder if they give you the graph. Oh, they don't give you the graph. Oh, it continues on another page. Okay. Because you need that graph for where to stitch what. And you're carrying the yarn and all kinds of stuff. Bobbles in a square hot pad. That's kind of cute. I like that. Number four, intermediate. Again, bobbles are my nemesis. They're doing it out of uh, number four, kitchen cotton. And here's where some of the patterns continue. You know, where they, they give you, you know, turn to page so-and-so for the rest. Let's see if there's anything else besides continuation patterns. More adverts. Texting mittens again. The button-down clothes. Yeah, I'm not going to show you all this stuff because it's all pattern stuff. Oh, wow. The spiral illustration of how that chrysanthemum thing pillow is. Yeah, you're crocheting in a spiral, which I guess is good because you're not going to see any stitches in that mess. Yep, they've got the graph for the uh, that hot pad. All right, in the back of it, <clears throat> you have what they almost always put in most of these magazines. You've got a stitch guide telling you how to do stitches. Um, you've got the, the abbreviations to kind of spell it out for you. A buyer's guide for how and where to get those yarns they talk about. The yarn weight system chart and their chart for the skill levels and what it means. They didn't have any in here that were anything above their immediate. So that's probably good. And at the very back, this is the last page, they give you the photo index. So you can kind of refresh your memory and go right to the page that you're looking for with that. All right. Yeah, this was $9.99. Um, and actually, I think this is worth it. I wish I had a discount. I really hate paying retail for anything because your girl's cheap, okay? But yeah, it's, it's a nice magazine slash book and there's a lot of stuff in there that not only I could probably do but it's actually useful and it's not a project that's like a year-long project because I got enough of those going on right now but yeah so crochet magazine presents this if it's something you think you might like go pick it up before it disappears they say they're only going to display it until uh February February 14th till Valentine's Day buy yourself an early Valentine's Day gift get this have fun with it not sponsored, of course. I, you know, paid my own 10 bucks for that. So, yeah. Anyway, I do thank you for coming by. I do flip throughs when I get a magazine type deal. I have book looks, which, you know, different playlists may have scrolled across the top um, throughout this. Uh, the book looks come on Sundays. On Mondays, we take some time for tea. Uh, Tuesdays, it's snacks around the world. Fridays, 
nothing is set right now, which is sad. I really should start doing tutorials again. And Saturday is the vloggy thing. And that's where I kind of recap the week a little bit, talk about personal things and talk about all the crochet because yes, there is crochet, which I feel like I want to be doing right now. My hands are like, get some yarn, do your thing. Okay. But again, thank you for coming by and I will see you very, very soon. Bye y'all.